Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. I have another review for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. So the way that I did this was basically I recorded with my phone when I wore it. So the quality might change, but um, I'm actually going to end up returning this. So I'll show you guys how it looks. It's so sad. It didn't work for me. I wish it did, but unfortunately it didn't. And it's really, really cute. The packaging is very, very simple. Whoops. Just like this. And then it has just a little pump applicator, so you pump it out. It has really nice packaging and everything. This is a water foundation, it says here. It's broad spectrum, has SPF 15, and it dries in, in a matte. So the finish is the matte finish. So my skin was just really, really dehydrated, I guess, at the time. Or, I don't know, honestly, like right now, my face already looks like crap because it is already 11. 32 and I really really wanted to do this um, intro type of recording for you right now because I did record everything else with my phone so if it works for you it might work for you if you have more of like that oily skin and like for the summertime when everybody gets really oily but unfortunately it didn't work for me so I hope you guys enjoy this video all right so I put this foundation on at 8 30 ish this morning and I'm just leaving work it's 6 like 10 or 605 and this is how my foundation looks I did not even set it or anything with no any powder um, so the wear of it by itself it's very good I think for those who have very oily skin and I don't have the problem I'm more like dry skin so it definitely, I don't know, I don't like how it's wearing on me. This is like the fourth time I tried it out because I really, really, really wanted to give a review on this. And I actually really wanted to like it because I thought it would be a really good foundation for the summertime. But um, I'm wrong. So, all right. So how I was saying, um, it just, it doesn't work with my skin because I'm like very dry. So, at least for me, it didn't work out. I really, really tried. I wanted it to work out for me, but I don't know if you guys can see it. Like here, I don't know, it just looks so dry and I look so dead. It's just so weird. But I hope you guys like this little, little rant and I will try another foundation. <laughs> and I also have this, um, the MAC, like, what is it called again? Soft ochre or something like that it's the um, primer before you do your eye makeup but it kind of creased on me and I don't know why that always happens to me because I'm not oily and then this eyeliner which is from Lorac I put in my waterline and it actually like just it ran came through here so yeah it's not having a good makeup day I look like I'm. Um, I'm like looking at myself on my in my phone, and I have to remember I have to look here. All right. So I'm trying out this foundation one more time before I return it or anything like that. But today the difference uh, from yesterday is that today I moisturized my face with coconut oil. So hopefully that's something that works because my face wasn't that hydrated, I guess, and I'm so dry. So right now it's 9:30, and I feel like it looks good. So let's see how it wears throughout the day. Quick little update. I still think the foundation looks good. Um, I haven't checked. Ooh, it's crazy there. I haven't checked to see if it has gone into the creases. But I'll check right now once I go back into work. But it's 140. So this foundation actually settled into, let's see, into this line right here. And it's like very dry um, when I scratched my nose a little bit because I itched it came off it makes me dry all right here like it looks really really dry even after um, putting like having the coconut oil on and then here it goes into here also just a little bit but it's not like too much I feel like if you have like oily skin this is probably gonna be a really good foundation for you just because um, 
it um, mattifies you so you don't have that problem with like dry skin but I have dry combination so it actually makes the dry areas worse so that's it and right now it's 620 and I'm so excited because I am recording with a new lens so I should be testing this out more often with more videos for you guys um, hopefully more tutorials because I can actually get close up and get a really really nice uh, crisp focus and yeah so I will see you guys in my next video bye guys